This one reminds me of Oasis. Like Liam the Gallagher. Drake. No, Liam oh. Gallagher. <laughs> the band. Okay. What music are you into? Burner Boy. Yeah? That's about it. A bit different to Oasis. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Kit Collector. I'm Ellis Platten and today I'm joined by Tottenham and Morocco's Rosella Ayan. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no worries. We're at Classic Football Shirts in London today. It's like a treasure trove of yeah. football shirts. It's impressive, for sure. Are you big into football shirts? You know what? My knowledge is poor, so yeah. we'll leave it at that. Yeah. I like the designs and stuff. So is mine and they let me host this. So. <laughs> Also, part of this series is each time the guest comes on, they have to bring a shirt of their choice, which they don't think I know. And basically, at the end, how it works is if I can't find the shirt that Rosella brings in, you basically get to choose any shirt from here you want. It can be any budget and I have to buy it for you. OK, good luck. In front of us is like UK clubs. I didn't know Man City would ever wore purple. This one reminds me of Oasis. Like Liam Gallagher. No, Liam oh. Gallagher. <laughs> the band. OK. Um, not an Oasis fan? My music knowledge is rather poor as well, so... <laughs> what music are you into? Burner Boy. Yeah? That's about it. A bit different to Oasis. <laughs> Growing up a Tottenham fan, do any kits stand out to you? I've got the old school one that's sort of navy, blue, with yeah. like the purple... Is it purple collar? Yeah, it's got yeah. like purple lines, I've got that one. I'm not going to lie, I didn't get many shirts as a kid. I wasn't that lucky. I don't think there is any Spurs shirts over here. They're sold out, probably. Saying that, if you want to come over here, there is some Spurs shirts over here, some some classic ones. This is like your Spurs section. Yes, lovely. When Nike came in. Yeah, what do you make of the Nike, the Nike kit? Love so it. I think, yeah, I think a lot of Nike kits are great. Yeah. I mean, the new Tottenham third kit is unreal. So you're a big collector of match-worn shirts. Do you try and swap shirts at all? I like to try and keep one from each season, usually one home, one away but then I'm obviously racking up a fair lot of shirts, so I think I need to cut that down. And, you know, it'd be quite cool to collect some of my friends' kits yeah. and, you know, just have that as a, a memoir. So this is the international section, and obviously yep. can't talk about international without talking about Morocco. Yeah. What was the experience of playing in the African Cup of Nations in front of your home country like? Yeah, it was incredible. I mean, the stadiums were honestly packed. Like, I think for the final, the stadium held like 55,000, I think was the max capacity, and there was 90,000 people in and around. Just the atmosphere that the Moroccans created was like nothing I've ever experienced. And, to be honest, I think it's probably better than some of the men's games that I've been at. Yeah. It was just incredible. What was the experience of scoring? Like, obviously, you got the goal back and you couldn't maybe celebrate. It's not like the like same thing, like... Yeah. But were you still, like, going crazy inside? Yeah, I mean, I knew how much of a momentous, you know, achievement it was for us to be in that final and scoring in it, etc. At the time, it was a bit crazy because it was obviously 2-1, so I couldn't celebrate too much. I still got like a great feeling like yep. any player does when they score, but looking back on it now, it's just uh, an unreal moment I'll never forget. Regardless of the result, you're now forever ingrained in Moroccan football history. It yeah. must be insane to I think. know, it's pretty cool. And, you know, it took someone else telling me that for me to actually realise the history that was written. You know, that whole tournament, not just scoring in the final, etc. So, you know, when I'm 75 and drinking my Moroccan tea, I'll probably <laughs> look back and be like, wow, that was actually some unreal history that we made. Does this QPR shirt remind you of any any particular great players? Tarabat, Moroccan yeah. Yeah. baller. He was a great player back in the day and I've seen some clips of him doing unbelievable things that I just I haven't seen any other player do. So obviously Moroccan and I think he played for Spurs at one point. Yeah. So he's had a great career and his talent has just shown in the Premier League. Obviously you've played in AFCON and yeah. this is already an instant classic, like one of the most yep. iconic World Cup kits of all time, I'd say. Everyone loved this shirt when it came out, didn't they? So yeah. um, it's a really cool design, cool colours, and just, you know, it's given that sort of African vibe and, you know, it's just, it's a cool kit. What do you think of this Morocco kit? Yeah. You can't go wrong. I mean, it's a bit plain Jane, but <laughs> plain and simple is sometimes effective. And, you know, Morocco have gone for that here, so I'm never going to say a bad word about it. I'll rock it. This, see this, if you wore this out, it's a bit more plain. So you'd wear this? Yeah. No, I wouldn't wear it. No, no, no. I wouldn't wear it out, but it's a lot more simple. 
as yeah. simple as effective. I saw there was a viral clip going around the other day of like Adama Traore in the supermarket in his Adama sh the match shirt. <laughs> to me, that's mental. You can't that, do that. See, if I thought that, I would just think, oh, the showers are broke at the game or yeah, something. Potentially, and he hasn't yeah. had a chance to shower and he doesn't want to put like a new top on after a game. That's where my head would go. But it was, like, it was on a training day. So like he'd actively got his match shirt and put it on to then go to Asda. Yeah. I've got no words for that. So, <laughs> so let's see the shirt. Okay. Hope you've got your credit card. <laughs> I actually do. Oh, that's amazing. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, Nagoya Grand. You could wear this to the shop. I could wear that as blackout as well. Exactly. I've never seen that before. That I've genuinely have never seen this shirt before. That's unbelievable. It's a Japanese team. Yeah, um, Gary Lineker played for them at one point. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. That's unreal. Would you sell me this? <laughs> now, this is unreal. I think like loads of teams have a blackout kit now. Yeah. And it's getting a bit, like, I'm a bit fatigued from it. But this is like a few years. It's a vibe. Yeah, this, yeah. One, this one really works. So you'd wear this to the shop? Yeah, to like Tesco Express. <laughs> the thing is, though, as well, there's no way it's in here. Like this is like, I don't even think you can get these in the UK. No, I don't think you can. I think it's uh, pretty hard to get hold of. So. It is, yeah, that's unbelievable. Does that mean I win? Yeah, I have to give a round of applause. Thank you. So what you're gonna do with a jacket is that you're gonna buy it and then not wear Never it. Never wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if I'm quickly running to Tesco's. Yeah, and you can quickly run. I can, apparently. <laughs> What's this? That's Marseille, yeah. Thoughts on that? So someone's wearing this at a festival, aren't they? That screams festival, bucket hat. Orange sunglasses. Yeah. You know what, I might have to go for this and give it to someone that goes to a lot of festivals. Yeah? Yeah. Is that your choice? I think so. If you're speaking about like a gift for festivals. I'm just thinking of a gift for a friend. One of my friends is, oh, is actually a City fan. Okay. Do you have any real, oh, maybe that purple shirt. Yeah, that's a great choice if you go for that. You know, just purple is my favourite colour, so if I don't want to give it as a gift, I could just wear it Yeah. to my Tesco runs. <laughs> Maybe out for dinner one time. Think decision made. I think it's a good decision. Yep. I, I back it. So you've made your decision there and you've gone for the Manchester City away shirt. I think you made a great choice. Yeah, I think it's going to be a great gift for someone, so hopefully uh, they like it. Have you enjoyed your time on Kit Collector? I have, thank you very much for having me. Yep, no worries, I've been Alice Platten. This has been Rosella Ayan. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for more Kit Collector in the future. And I'll see you in the next one.